And, you know, I was just sitting back thinking about Lord Jesus, how he preached the gospel. And sometimes you got to ask yourself, why did Lord Jesus preach the gospel? Why was he teaching people? Why was he healing people? Why did he do any of the things that he did? And you know, it was all for the glory of God. But he did these things knowing that people would turn their back on him. Knowing that people already made their mind up of what they was going to do to him. And that was put him on the cross. He did all of these magnificent things, these glorious things for the people knowing they was going to turn their back on him. You know, when I started thinking about that, I realized how powerful forgiveness is. It's so many times we turn our back on Lord Jesus. And so many times we gave up on the faith. And I realize that's the power of what Lord Jesus did when he went up on that cross. He forgave all of us. So today I just want to let someone know, whoever see this video, the moment you come to Christ, you shall be forgiven. The moment you have true repentance in your heart, you shall be forgiven. The number one thing I've noticed is this. People that don't believe in Lord Jesus, it don't matter what they have in life. They can be a millionaire. They can have every single thing that the world has to offer. They could even been around the world multiple times. But the number one thing I've noticed is when they don't have Lord Jesus, they always come to a place of depression, anxiety, don't know who to trust, paranoid around people, and subconsciously, they tuck themselves away. Because when you live in sin, it places you in a place of bondage. See, a lot of people are spiritually bound to the things of this world. And what Lord Jesus did was provide a way out of that. See, he overcame the world so we can break the generational curse that came with sin. And in order to experience what Lord Jesus did, that spiritual freedom of what he left us with when he laid his life down, the only way to experience that is to be born again, is to believe Lord Jesus. Because I'm starting to realize a trend in this world. I'm starting to realize it's a lot of people that believe they did too much. It's over. There's no hope. It's a lot of people with that mentality in this world today. Especially those that's in the music industry. You know. A song popped up on my timeline. I'm not going to say what name. But I don't know why this song popped up on my recommendations on my timeline. But I gave it a listen. And this person think they're going to hell. And I, I, I ain't going to lie, man. That, that bothered me. That really bothered me. But it made me realize 
why Lord Jesus preached the way he did. Even though he knew people would turn their back on him. Even though he knew he was living in righteous, righteousness, but people still put him on the cross. He did the right thing, but people still put him on the cross. He glorified the Heavenly Father's name, but people still put him on the cross. See, people put love on the cross, and people put hatred in people. <sighs> if that makes any sense. But I realized the, the reason why Lord Jesus preached the way he did. So we can learn how to forgive. And I just want to let you know. One thing about the Heavenly Father. That we all should know. If you still got breath in your body. It's not too late. I don't care what nobody say. It's not too late to repent. From your way. As long as you got breath in your body. See, the devil got people believing that if they live a certain way for too long, then it's too late. If your friends and family starts to leave this world, then it's too late. How can I be forgiven for all the things that I've done? How can I repent from my wicked ways? How can I choose to do right at this point in my life? The answer is simple. You still got breath in your body. I really don't know how to articulate myself in this matter. I really don't know. But I just noticed that when people don't come to Lord Jesus, they feel hopeless. I've noticed that. That's why Lord Jesus said he's the way, the truth, and the life. No one can get to the Father except through the Son. If you try to take any other route, it seems like it always leads to a dead end. Lord Jesus is the only way that I've seen light at the end of the tunnel. You know, we could try to start a business. We could try to do things on our own. And every time we try to take matters in our own hands, it always causes us to crash out. And then we be broken inside. Screaming for help. But nobody hears us. Because the people you keep in your circle. The people you keep in your circle. They doing the same stuff you doing. So of course they're not going to hear you because they need help too. <laughs> like that's the, yo, that's crazy. They need help too. So of course they're not going to hear you. Y'all. Lord Jesus said he came here for the sinners. He's told us to love others as he has loved us. He told us to be a light in a dark place. We got to do a better job. Because at the end of the day, people see these A-list celebrities and they just can't wait to create a video on these people talking about how demonic they are. And I'm starting to realize that's starting to cause more harm than good. Because a lot of times when people create these videos, especially on rappers or certain singers, some people that's in the music industry, when they create these videos, I never hear nothing good that they got to say about them. It, it's all, it, it almost seemed like they're bashing the person. 
And if Lord Jesus would have did that, none of us would have an opportunity to be saved. See, Lord Jesus preached the gospel knowing that people was going to put him on a cross. So if you're picking up your cross daily and denying yourself to follow Lord Jesus, we got to preach the truth of Lord Jesus and the gospel and live in that truth, the word of God, knowing that it's going to be people that disrespect us. It's going to be people that mock us. It's going to be people that truly hate on us. But if we start to look like the world, passing judgment, throwing the first stone, then how are we any better? It's starting to look like a lot of gossip going on. We got to start being real about this thing because it's people that's believing they're going to hell. But at the same time, when you look at the big picture, there was a point in time all of us was going to a place that separates you from God. That's hell. But the Heavenly Father showed mercy toward us. He gave us grace. He forgave us. Even though this person, this rapper, or this musician, or this actress, or people that you know in life, even though they're living in sin, they might be saying, Terrible things, cursing, smoking, drinking, doing whatever they want in life. As long as they got breath in their body. When you speak in the true gospel of Lord Jesus. They have an opportunity to change. But if you bashing them. You're telling them they're going to hell. You're saying if you don't repent this, if you don't repent that then things won't go well for you in life. And that's true. But it's a way you're supposed to deliver it. If you're bashing them all the time, they're going to rebel. It's bad enough people going to rebel regardless. But don't encourage that. Don't help them rebel based upon your delivery. Lord Jesus preached the gospel to all people, even the ones that hated him. That's why he said, love your neighbor as I have loved you. That's why he said that. Because he knew sometimes we're going to be around hostile people. He knew sometimes people going to hate on us, mock us, talk about us. But we can't do the same as they did. We got to live in truth. We got to live in the light of Lord Jesus. We got to speak about our testimonies on how the Heavenly Father delivered us out of certain situations that we thought we wouldn't get out of. But I don't know who's going to check this video out. I don't know. But I do know we as believers, we got to do better. We got to carry ourselves in a way Lord Jesus would want us to. And that's to be set apart. We can't be like the world. A lot of people do stuff for views and all that kind of stuff. We can't be like, like that. People's lives are on the line. People's souls are in jeopardy. The enemy has a deep delusion over the world. It's people that can't even see what's in front of them because they living in so much darkness. That's why we got to show up as the light of Lord Jesus. That's how you be a light in a dark place. And the thing is, to really be a light in a dark place, 
means to be out there in the trenches, means to be in hostile environments, means to turn the other cheek when people disrespect you. That's what Lord Jesus did because he already know what's going to go down later on. It's about fighting with your actions, meaning how you live your everyday life for the Heavenly Father by having faith in Lord Jesus. See, actions speak louder than words. So when you stand on business, when you really stand on the word of God, that's how you keep your integrity. And that's what really causes people to change, especially when you don't fold under pressure. When you might be in certain situations. The father might put you in certain situations just so you can show them. There is a way of escape. And it's through Lord Jesus. See, the truth will always, and I repeat, always set you free. And there's people watching. Sue, you think those celebrities ain't watching? You think that family member ain't watching? You think those friends ain't watching? They watching. And if you continue to be consistent in your walk with Christ, even if you mess up sometimes. But consistency means to keep going. So if you carry on in a way that's pleasing to the Heavenly Father, guess what? There's people that's watching that may change and repent from their ways because they didn't see you fold under pressure. They didn't see you get caught up in the gossip and trying to be like everybody else. To be holy means to be set apart. This is real, y'all. This is real. But I just want to say I love y'all. Be set apart. Continue to live by example. You know, because it's somebody out there that's watching that needs that example. What it truly means to be a follower of Lord Jesus Christ. We got to let the world go because it's people that need your help and they need to hear your testimony. And for those who see this video, I pray that you understand it's never too late. Consider giving Lord Jesus a chance to redeem you from all the time that has been lost because you still have breath in your body. You still have time to change, to repent. Don't let the enemy make you believe that it's too late to change. There's people in the Bible that has done terrible things, but yet they finally came to a place of repentance the moment they allow Lord Jesus to enter into their heart, mind, and soul. Lord Jesus is literally the only person that I know that when people come to him, things change. You start to feel better in your mind, in your heart, in your soul. The weight of the world begins to lift off your shoulders. You start to feel spiritual freedom. You're no longer in bondage. You start to just have so much hope the moment you come to Lord Jesus. I haven't seen that with anything else but Lord Jesus. It got to be a reason for it. So today I pray that you begin to discover that reason when you come to Lord Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. And I'm starting to understand why, because if you study his life and how he lived, he helped people. He taught people how to live in the newness of life, how to let go of the past, how to renew your mind, how to live in the spirit. Think about all these things that comes along with living for Lord Jesus. 
Look how all of that stuff that I just mentioned can transform your life for the better. So stop believing that you're going to a place because the devil got you believing it's too late. Who said you was going to hell? Who? Of course, people going to talk. Of course, people got a lot to say. And maybe they saying it based upon your actions. But guess what? You could prove everybody wrong, including yourself, when you come to Lord Jesus. Because the words say, with man it is impossible, but with God all things become possible. It's nothing impossible for the Heavenly Father. He still got the door open for us. How I know this to be true? Because the world still exists. So that means we can come out of the world if we trust Lord Jesus. Just consider this. I'm not trying to force this on you. It's just something that I've noticed about the world. And it's a lot that comes with Lord Jesus that allows us to feel real freedom. And I just want to say I love you. Whoever see this video, I love you. And I pray this message get through to the people that the Heavenly Father intends for it to. I pray this bless you in Jesus' name. Amen.